The Euclid mission will soon begin. New telescope to study the dark the side of space. The cosmos still has many secrets. One of the those that have intrigued astronomers for years are undoubtedly dark matter and it's a dark energy. Among other things, they will become the target of Euclid's research, in a few days he will go into space. Soon, an extraordinary observatory will be sent in space to study the dark side of the cosmos. The Euclid telescope has been designed to map the universe. Its main goal is understanding the nature of dark energy and dark matter through accurate measurements accelerated expansion of the universe by various independent methods. The European Space Agency has announced that July 1st in the Euclid telescope will be launched. His main task will be throwing new light on the mysteries of dark matter and dark energy, the idea of filling the universe. One of the most interesting properties of this the last one is to be negative pressure. It is estimated that the universe could be as much as 95% composed of dark matter and energy. Of course, no one expects Euclid to discover we have all the secrets ahead of us, but astronomers expect that thanks its possibilities will learn more about their behavior and changes in which they are subject in time. For now, both dark matter and energy remain purely theoretical concepts. However, they are already needed, that scientists can explain some of the governance mechanisms it's the universe. For example, dark energy is called an invisible force that it contributes to the fact that the universe is constantly expanding, and the reason for this is just the above mentioned negative pressure. Dark matter cannot be seen either. So where we can from to know that it exists? It can be inferred from the way they move other visible space objects near it. They are influenced the gravitational field of this invisible matter. Euclid telescope will be launched into space by the SpaceX own Falcon 9 rocket. Her start from the Cape the Canaveral was scheduled for 1630 cc. The original the carrier of the telescope was to be the Russian Soyuz rocket, but in the face of the Russian side refused to indemnity in response to Ukraine further cooperation in this area. The cost of the mission is about 1.5 billion euros. The Euclid telescope weighs 2 tons, and its dimensions are 4.7 meters high and 3.5 meters wide. It's already in space. It will join the James Webb Space Telescope. Yes, of course how he will conduct observation from the second libration point, second Lagrange's point L2, located at a distance of about 1.5 million A miles from Earth. Euclid's possibilities are really impressive because it will he is able to look at places away from Earth by as much as 10 billion years the lights. Consequently, this means that it will be de facto able to look at these 10 billion years back to the past of the surrounding space. The work of Euclida it will not only contribute significantly to a three-dimensional map space, but also help recreate the history of an estimated 13.8 billion years of the universe.